Good morning. Welcome to Johnny's Syndicate. Today we're going to hike Will Rogers to the valley again. None of this uh, virus stuff is going to stop me from getting in my training. We are not following a map today. I am just recording my progress. We're making it as I go. I've been in this mountain range at least five or six times, so I have no problem finding my way through here. behind me tell me that's not worth it so much for the rain huh Whew. we're making good time today and there's the chicken bridge right there we're gonna cross that and continue on to the valley. Decided to take a more overgrown way. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hate being uh, cooped up in the house. Drives me nuts. All work and no play makes Jack a doll boy. people. Trying to push as far as I can because clouds are moving in. It starts to rain. My bag has a rain fly. And I brought an emergency poncho just in case. Always gotta be prepared. All right, we hit our break spot. 
a little after nine o'clock. I'm gonna sit down here and have a protein bar, and then we're gonna continue on. See what I mean about the clouds? Looks like if I don't keep moving, I might hit some rain. but it is raining right now. It'll probably open up as I get further into the valley. He's having fun. We should take the side. Oh man. The goal here is not to end up in that mud. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I'm gonna have to do a little balancing act. This is what I'm dealing with right now. Got through it. <laughs> you can literally see the rain dropping over there. It's pretty cool. There's the first glimpse of the valley. people are uh, coming up the trail right now but pretty damn beautiful out here all right that was a total pain in the butt to do but we got our uh, cover on our poncho and the rain just started coming down right when I was doing it. I had to balance my bag on my knees. That was kind of fun. Anyways, let's continue our push. I'm gonna put my hoodie back on. <laughs> We're coming up on Cathedral Rock right here. This is our little Cathedral Rock. And over here is the hub. This is where all the trails meet up and there's a a little outhouse over there. Finally coming to the end of Backbone. We're uh, really close to hitting the main strip here. 
and it's been raining like cats and dogs now for a little while. So I'm just gonna keep going. Bye, Backbone. See you next time. Oh, there's a bird up there making that noise. I was wondering what that was. I was hoping I could get here before it opened up, but uh, yeah, it didn't happen. Oh, bathroom out of order, of course it is. We made it to the hub. It is officially pouring again over here. Let's see if you can see this here. It goes. Okay, so this is where we started, and we followed this all the way up to here. I will have this recorded on all trails if you guys want to try doing this journey yourself. But we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue up and get out here. The blue sky has started to come out. Hopefully, that's it for the rain. Oh, check this out. Let me flip this around. It wasn't really pouring or anything. All this water rushing down this down this road here. Super slow trying to get down out of here with uh, all that mud. I don't want to take a spill. So, we just take our time and try to get out of here. Look at this. Round two has started on the rain. We're almost done. The mud has made this extremely, extremely slow hiking this last little bit. But I'll be down soon. Alright. I'm finally going through the gate here. Look at all this stuff. You could go high. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Let's hope we get out of here before the next storm really starts dumping on us. We're going this way. We're going to continue this way, I think. I'm going to get to uh, Reseda Boulevard, and then we'll get out of here. The goal for me right now is to try to find those little dry spots on the edge of the trail, or the edge of this road, so that I can get a little bit of grip rather than being right in the middle, where it's just out of control. The shoes I'm wearing right now are the Coleman shoes and they're, I was actually surprised how great the traction was with them in the snow, but man, they do not do good in the mud. Almost to Reseda Boulevard, and then we'll head into town. I still have plenty of food packed in my bag, so I might have a protein shake and a Lenny and Larry's double chocolate cookie when I get done with this. Gotta get those calories back in. Yeah, that's blue sky, and yes, that's rain flying in front of the screen. <laughs> we made it to the park over here.
Thanks for joining me on this uh, special hiking adventure. This is for everybody that's in lockdown right now that can't get out of their house. At least you can uh, be outside and enjoy this. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. I got my first tick and all these hikes and all these adventures I finally got my first tick here's the bite area right there my girl pulled it off and uh, I'll show you the tick hold on a second there's the tick I already uh, picked it off Clean the bite wound with soap and water, put some rubbing alcohol on it, so we're good to go.